David Goggins is known as the toughest man alive. He's run over 50 ultra marathons, been through Navy SEAL Hell Week three times, done over 4,000 pull-ups in 24 hours, and just recently decided to start fighting forest fires for fun. He also invented this crazy challenge called the 4448. You run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. So you're running almost two full marathons over the course of two days. Now, I hate running, but I wanted a new challenge to push myself, so I'm going to attempt this. I'll track everything, document everything, and take you guys along on the journey. Let's do it. First run, here we go. I have no idea what to expect. This is gonna be a long journey. Got my friend Brendan here with me. Hey guys. This dude has already done it before, so you know he's a psychopath, but he offered to join me for the first run and maybe some more. So one of the reasons that I wanted to attempt this challenge is because Goggins talks about how the best way to learn about yourself, learn how you react to things, is to push yourself to the extremes. So that's what we're doing here, trying something that I think is going to be so, so difficult to see how I respond and to help teach myself to hopefully be able to push through even when I'm in incredible pain, even when my mind is screaming at me to stop, to still have that, to feel that, and keep going. Run one is complete. Let's go. Honestly, I feel pretty good right now. I, I'm not too tired, the legs aren't too sore or anything, but I know this is just the start and it's only gonna get tougher from here. Alarm just went off, midnight, round number two. Yeah, man! You're awesome. So far, it's not too bad. Waking up wasn't horrible. I mean, I don't feel great, but it wasn't bad. We'll see how the run goes. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's super eerie out. We're the only ones out here. Super quiet. Not a car on the street right now. This is one of the made roads at our school. And look, it's just empty. I'm the only one here. Bro, guys, let me explain something to you. So I just woke up, it's 8 a.m., my alarm just went off. I'm dog tired, don't feel like doing anything, but whatever, gotta go around, doesn't matter. Look out my window, and this dude is already suiting up. Tap my table outside, absolute unit. Don't talk about it! Be about it! Practice what you preach! Stay hard! I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything since the first run, and I can tell my body just needs energy. So we're making some hash browns, some eggs, have some cereal. It's gonna be so good. Yum, dude. Run number five is underway. I had class right before this. Now I have to run with my backpack on. This is not fun. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering to more pain. If you want to push harder, know this. Your mind quits way before your body does. So you have to be willing to go way into that darkness and find more of yourself. Stay hard. Cool moment. I was on the run, about 0.8 miles left, and I was just going up a consistent uphill. And I was so tired, and I really wanted to walk. And walking's okay in the challenge. Me and Brendan already walked a little bit, but I told myself, don't walk, don't walk. And for every single second for the last 0.8 miles, I had to fight that demon of should I walk? Should I give in? Should I throw in the towel or should I keep running? But I just kept putting one foot in front of the other and I didn't stop. And now that's, that's a piece that's in my mind of the time I didn't quit. We just hit halfway. The legs are sore. Knees are weak. Palms are sweaty. So here's where I'm at, 24 miles done. Every single run is getting progressively harder. It just feels like my legs have no energy left to go. I also have these sick blisters on my toes. Big toe has got two. My little pinky toe has got one. They're not extremely painful, but every time I run, I can feel it in every step. And I'm only halfway done, so they're only gonna get worse. I'm starting to have doubts. Oh, I'm just lying here in bed and it just feels like I'm gonna throw up. I feel cold, even though it's really warm outside and in my house. But at the same time, my face and forehead feel really hot. But I don't wanna stop. I'm already halfway done. I just gotta keep going. I'm gonna try to get some rest and hopefully feel better. Run number seven. I'm feeling better already. It definitely hurts to walk, but once you get running, the pain kind of subsides. You will be tested. And how you face that test and how you overcome that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I don't have actual athletic tape, so I'm just using masking tape. <laughs> Hopefully this helps. Alarm just went off for midnight run. Did not want to do this. 
getting a lot of weird looks tonight from all the college students who are out partying, out drunk at midnight. And it's reminding me of something that Goggins once said. Today I was running and this guy passes me in the car. And it's about 100 degrees out here, 70% humidity. And the guy comes back around and looks at me. He pulls his car by me and says, why the fuck are you out here? I said, because you're not. Sometimes your motivation needs to be because no one else wants to fucking do it. Stay hard. Last 4 a.m. run. Good morning. Whenever you're ready. Let's do it. My legs have never hurt this bad. One thing I noticed is that over time, my mental energy and ability to have conversations was just gone. I'm so tired. We keep trying to have a conversation. <laughs> I feel like all my responses are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also made some poor decisions on scheduling things. What's happening at 10 a.m.? My dumb self scheduled a date. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> I have a date at 10 a.m. Better change your clothes. <laughs> yeah. and I have to walk there too. Second to last run. I really don't want to be here right now. This is the point where you just got to put your head down and grind. You just got to run four miles. It doesn't matter how good you feel. I'm so close. You just got to keep going. <sighs> One run left, baby. One run left. Let's go. Final run. This one should not feel this hard, but right now it feels like the biggest obstacle I've faced so far. Really don't want to do this. Goggins is out there. Goggins is out there getting after it. And I've got to be too. In the end, this was physically the hardest thing that I've ever done. But I learned a lot about myself and I'm really glad I did it.